In this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a line that passes through two points. So here's a typical question. Write the equation of the line that passes through 0, 2 and 3, 8. Now, um, before you watch this video, I'd highly recommend watching the video uh, grading of a line passing through two points, but I will recap part of it now anyway. Okay, so the equation of a line is in the, uh, comes in the form of y equals mx plus c. Okay, so that's the equation of any line, y equals mx plus c. We need to work out two things, one, the gradient, and two, the y-intercept. So let's start off with the gradient. Now there's a formula for the gradient. The gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this uh, coordinate, uh, coordinate becomes, uh, comes before this one, let's further to the left, so let's call it x1, y1, and call this one x2, y2. Again, it doesn't really matter you know, which way around you do these, but I tend to like doing that because then it gives me rise over run. So, um, let's put them in. So y2 is 8, subtract y1, which is 2, divided by x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is 0. So that gives us 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2. So the gradient of this line, or the line that passes through these two points, is 2. So we've now got the form y equals 2x plus c. So we've replaced the m, the gradient, with 2. Now we need to find out our plus c. Now this one's actually really easy because remember c is the y-intercept, so it's where it crosses the y-axis, and this good line passes through 0, 2. So I know that the coordinate here is 0, 2, so I know the y-intercept will be 2. Um, so the answer will be y equals 2x plus 2, and that's easy if you have one of the points that has 0 something. Now, an alternative way to do it, and the way to do it for all of them to find your plus c, is to choose one of these two coordinates and substitute it in. Let's substitute in 3, 8. So x is 3 and y is 8. So let's put these in. So y is equal to 8. So 8 equals 2 times x, so 2 times 3, plus c. So that gives you 8 equals 6 plus c. Take the 6 away, so you get c equals 2. So we know that c equals 2, we know the gradient is equal to 2, so we then get the equation, we put this back into here, so you're going to get y equals 2x plus 2. So you could have just seen, oh it goes through 2, so that's the y-intercept, or the way I'd like to do it is to put one of these coordinates back in and just get for certain what your c will be. So here's another example. It says write down the equation of the line that passes through 1, 4 and 5, 16. So again, it comes in the format y equals mx plus c. So we need the gradient and we need the y-intercept. So for the gradient, we're going to use m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's substitute them in. So you're going to get m equals 16 subtract 4 divided by 5 subtract 1. That gives you 12 divided by 4 which equals 3. So the gradient is equal to 3. So you're going to get y equals 3x plus c. So we know the gradient, we just need to now find the c. Um, now, unfortunately, you can't just say, well, we don't know a coordinate that has zero something, so we're going to have to put one of these in. Uh, let's put in our 5, 16. You could also put in the 1, 4, it's up to you. So let's put in 5, 16. Uh, so the x part is 5, the y part is 16. So y is 16, so you're going to get 16 equals 3 times x, so that's 3 times 5, which should be 15, plus c. So that means that c has to be 1, so c equals 1. So you then put this back into here, so you're going to get y equals 3x plus 1. 